What's going on guys, it's Wilms, and today we're going to be doing a cool little commentary video, and uh, basically what this video is going to be talking about is the new additions for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare that you can get, Gwit's dad like almost dying, and the new DLC for Call of Duty Ghosts. Alright, so let's start with the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Atlas Edition, uh, actually Atlas Pro Edition, and uh, I'll have a picture on the screen showing you guys what it is, but uh, basically... It's like the collector's edition for Call of Duty Ghosts. Or not, why did I just say Call of Duty Ghosts? I'm, I'm stupid. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And instead of calling it the collector's edition or the prestige edition, they called it the Atlas Pro Edition. So basically, you get all these cool stuff. You get, like, uh, let's see, what is this here? Uh, you get a cool little exoskeleton, like, little camo looking thing. You get a helmet. Uh, well, I, I guess they're having, like, this consistent themed, like, themed camo that goes around through all these pro editions and stuff like that. Because um, that's just, I don't know, the color scheme, the camo just looks like that throughout everything. And, I mean, you can see the same camo type thing on the guns, too. Um, you can see it with the player cards and little things. So, you got your little exoskeleton stuff. You got your season pass, which, I mean, obviously, that's just prepaying for four DLC things. Four D like, the four DLC that will come out for the game. All you guys know what that is. And then you got... Uh, the gorge map and actually what that map is that, that's pretty cool that's what i'm excited about um uh, they're basically remaping that uh, remaping remaking the map pipeline from cod 4 and uh you know that that's gonna be pretty cool because that map if if you guys don't remember that map um it had a lot of like really high spots to trick shot on or just like do anything on i mean everybody loved that map because you could do pretty much anything on it they had bounces too it'd be so cool if they brought bounces back I don't think they would because those were like glitches, but if that could happen, that'd be really cool. And uh, I'm sure everybody would like that. But um, basically, I I don't know. I'll put a picture on the screen of what that map looks like if you guys don't remember. Um, and then you guys will be like, oh, that's so cool, they're remaking that map. And it's going to be even cooler because we're going to have like jetpacks to fly around in, like to get on top of those buildings quicker and that kind of stuff. So I'm pretty excited for that. A little gorge map. Then you've also got the, uh, the the advanced warfare soundtrack. That looks pretty cool. But I mean, obviously, I feel like like that's gonna be pointless. <laughs> but you know, may maybe it won't be. Maybe they'll have some cool songs in there. I don't know. Um, and then if you go all the way back to the left side of the little soldier guy there, it looks like we've got like a, a collector's edition like um, little guide or something like that. And I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. Then you got the steel book casing for the game. That's just kind of usual. It's expected. Then uh, below that, you've got the advanced arsenal, which is that gold camo type of thing. And uh, the new gun, the gold camo for the exoskeleton. Uh, then you've got the atlas calling card to the right of that. Um, I don't really know what that's going to look like in game. I don't know what calling cards are going to look like at all. But uh, I don't know. Maybe it'll be cool if it's like a rectangle. I don't know. I, I still think they should do like wide rectangles, but that's just me. Uh, then you've got the, uh, let's see, what is that thing? Welcome to Atlas Advanced Soldier Manual. I don't know what that's going to be, but that sounds kind of cool. And, you know, I mean, that's pretty much it for all that stuff. Um, then at the bottom, you, uh, you also get five supply drops, which... Maybe those are things like prestige tokens or something like that that you would normally have to, like, wait for. Or, I don't know. I don't know what those are at all. They haven't talked about them, but um, those sound kind of cool. I mean, I'm always down for getting the jump on people uh, as far as that kind of stuff goes. Then you've got uh, player emblem, single player ex exoskeleton upgrade token, blah, blah, blah. And uh, that's pretty much that for uh, the Atlas Pro Edition. And this is the one that I'm getting, by the way. Um, this is, like, I, I think it's... I don't know, it's it's like the... I don't know, I think it's the one that has everything in it, whereas there are other ones that have bits and parts in there. Um, but uh, I think this one's $120, and uh, people are just like, $120 for a game? What are you, you're crazy! It's like, well, I mean, I'm getting the season pass with it, so, I mean, that's automatically like a $40 or $50 thing right there, so, I mean, that plus all the 
extra like random stuff that's in there probably is like equal to like 140 or 150 i would think uh anyway so let's go on to the next topic wit's dad almost dying so uh basically what happened with that is uh well a lot of people didn't know th about this so that's why i wanted to make a video talking about it um this was a pretty serious thing and not a lot of people knew about it so basically what happened was his dad had to go into surgery and it was a super high risk surgery and basically there was a pretty high chance of him not making it out of that surgery alive so uh, it kind of had everybody like freaking out and everybody was like kind of scared and everybody was like praying for Gwyn and his dad and stuff like that one day uh, and I'll put the tweets up on the screen about it but uh, it, was, it was pretty scary and um, I know he was freaking out well, he wasn't really freaking out but I mean you know he was he was nervous about it and uh, you know luckily everything everything ended up like coming out well I mean he survived the surgery so he's alive and well right now all right, let's move on to something else. Let's move on to the new Ghost DLC, and I will have that playing in the background, the trailer, um, without the audio, just because, I don't know, I'd want you guys to actually be able to hear me. But um, I'll also put a link in the description to, like, all this stuff, I guess to the tweets, the advanced arsenal thing, whatever that is, Atlas Pro, and then the, uh, the trailer. So, yeah, so as you guys can see, there's all these cool new maps. Uh, there's a new little survival mode map thing, the extinction map. That's what it's called. Uh, that looks kind of cool. I don't know. I might actually play Extinction after I like after I've seen this map. This looks kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, so basically, there's one map that re they've remade, and that was Shipment from Call of Duty 4. And basically, that was that teeny map that you would always get spawn trapped on and get absolutely destroyed on. Yes, it is that map, and they're bringing it back to Call of Duty Ghosts. Why? I have no idea. I mean, uh, to me, that just that map pissed me off a lot. <laughs> Um, I mean, it was pretty good for, like, a 1v1-ing and stuff like that, but, I mean, n not that many people do that on Call of Duty Gifts. But, uh, I don't know, they're bringing a new little twist to it. They've got, like, these cool things. Well, I don't... Actually, you know what? No, they're not even cool. I feel, <laughs> I feel like it's just gonna destroy, like, that map, and it's gonna be, like, the worst map of all time because of these things. So, basically, you can get, you can get, like, these little, like, kill streaks, I guess, like, not KEM strikes, uh... But stuff like, uh, I don't know, like, whenever you do a field order, you can get a thing and basically it'll, like, trigger, like, a dynamic map element or something like that. Basically, those dynamic map elements, they are stuff like some of the walls drop down on the map and sentry guns pop out, like, <laughs> like four or five sentry guns, something like that. And, uh, I mean, that's cool to think about, but, like, that's gonna be awful. <laughs> it's not gonna be fun. Uh, but, you know, I don't know, it's cool that they've put this much thought into the game, and, um, you know, I mean, they're still trying to do that one last, like, little thing to get money out of us, <laughs> but, um, I don't know, I think Advanced Warfare is going to be good because they've had three years to make it, and, uh, like, I mean, they've seen ghosts, they know what not to do, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I feel like it's going to be, I feel like it's going to be a hit, I feel like it's going to be good, but, uh, leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, you know, uh, just... I don't know, comment random stuff, whatever you want to do. Uh, there's links in the description to all the things I talked about, and, um, you know, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.